Management Options, Spark Management. By the end of this training, you'll be able to connect Quantum Spark to Quantum Management Portal. As we discussed in previous videos, there are three ways to manage your Quantum Spark. The first option is the locally managed, where you use this single web application to manage both the security policy and the device itself. Next, we have the centrally managed option, where you need a dedicated security management server. It can be open server, it can be on cloud, it can be on an appliance, but it's more scalable. And if you want it to be even more scalable, you would use the Spark management option. So Quantum Spark management is great because it's a single console to manage thousands of customers. It's part of Checkpoint's Infinity Portal cloud management solution, provides unified management, monitoring and analysis, granular role-based administration, and as you can see, provide extensive logging, reporting, simplified group-based security provisioning using plans. So the idea is you set up a plan, you modify the plan with the security blades, the firewall policies and so on, and you assign a gateway to a plan as easy as that. So I've connected to the infinity portal using my account. And as you can see at the moment, I have zero gateways and a single plan. If I click on the plans, I have the initial plan. You can see the blades that are enabled. I'm going to go ahead and modify it. Going to security software blades, firewall, firewall access policy. And just a few minutes ago, I've added a manual rule to allow WeTransfer. And I've saved that already. Now I'm going to gateways and I'm going to add a gateway. So this is going to be a small office appliance. The name is going to be Spark One. Registration key, I'll use that. Finish. Okay, so now I have prepared everything I need for the gateway. Now I'll need to go to the gateway itself and introduce myself to Quantum Spark Management. I'm now copying the activation key. Now I'm going to Home, Cloud Services, Configure, and it's just a single string. You just paste it, press Apply. Let's hit Details. I can see the status if I want to. And we'll just wait for a few minutes. I'm now connected. I can do details to get out information. Let me show you a cool thing. In a previous video, I have manually added a rule to allow Dropbox on the appliance. From the Quantum Spark management, I've modified the plan to allow WeTransfer. If I'll go to Access Policy, Policy, here we go. I can see the Dropbox rule and the WeTransfer rule. And you can see that this rule takes preference as well. So that's really cool. And we have now successfully added Quantum Spark to be managed via Quantum Spark Management. Thank you for watching.